Now, where is Soma? There he is. <laughs> We're going to do so mana. This is our goal. Winter, eighteen sixty four. In order to find my father, with whom I lost contact, I, Chizuru Yukimura, visited Kyo. In that city, I bore witness to a horrifying secret hidden within a group called the Shinsengumi. The Fury, a creature with white hair and crimson eyes. Luckily, I was saved from the vicious clutches of the Furies by the men of the Shinsengumi. Because I had discovered the Shinsengumi secrets, it was proposed that I live with the Shinsengumi men, since they were also searching for my father. As such, I was to serve under Hijikata-san as the commander's page, a role I performed proudly. So thus began my life with the Shinsengumi. I'd heard rumors, well, whispers really, that the Shinsengumi was little more than a bunch of crooked ronin. But my life with them proved otherwise. Their commitment to protect the safety of Kyo made them the last of a dying breed. True samurai. I set them apart from those who only craved power. During the period in which I was becoming acquainted with the Shinsengumi, I met Kazue Soma, who served as, his, as the chief's page under my diligent tutelage. It was during this time that a group of demons led by a figure named Chikage Kazuma emerged, standing in opposition to the, sh to the sh Shinsengumi. After learning that I, too, shared demon lineage, they pursued me relentlessly. Thankfully for me, I had Soma as a protector. When tensions arose between the Shinsengumi and the rival faction, it was Soma, once again, who came to my rescue against, against a man named Saburo Miki. Morale waned as the tide of conflict loomed large, exacerbated by an attempt on the life of our chief. Our situation, however, became increasingly dire. At the time, the fate of the Shokunin was threatened by the Sacho, which later accumulated in an inevitable battle for control of the nation. Thus began the Battle of Toba Fushimi. It set the fateful stage for a duel between Soma and Miki, one with unforeseen consequences. Soma had been forced into consuming the water of life, and he was resigned to becoming a fury. Unfortunately, the battle ended in favor of the Sacho, and the, Shinsh and the Shinsengumi were driven from Kyo. They set sail for Edo in hopes of a new start. I recognize that picture. Please don't tell me we're heading there already. Oh no, we're in common. In okay. Achievement of luck. Why so serious? Ha! The 
Shinsugumi was greeted with a thick, dreary fog upon entering to Edo, returning to Edo. No doubt a bizarre omen as they settled at Kama Inn, located in Shinagawa. Shinagawa. I did get that right. Isami Kondo, our chief, was still recovering from a deliberating bullet wound sustained, in, sustained to his shoulder. This vacancy prompted Ichikata-san to visit Edo, Edo Castle in the hopes of garnering Shogunate support in order to negotiate a retaliatory strike in the near future. Hmm. Numerous casualties required our constant care, and sites had tirelessly hopped between our base and matsumoto Sensei's clinic to treat the wounded men. As for Sanansan and Heske, they were assigned patrol duties during late night rounds, keeping a watchful eye over any suspicious activity in Edo. Nagakura, Harada, and Nomura maintained the compound's social atmosphere, boosting spirits by taking our downtrodden men on frequent outings. Kazuo-sama, after suffering serious wounds during the Battle of Tobofushimi from Saburo Miki, he consumes the water of life and becomes a fury. I mean, it was kind of shoved down his throat game, actually. Well, so we're drinking on his own. I turned my head to where Harada was smirking. There stood Soma in the courtyard, putting his weight behind each swing of his habiki. Habiki, a blade that is so dull it is unable to cut. なあ、and so Soma kept swinging, sliding his feet in calculated movements to aim precise strikes at an, at an imaginary foe. Nagakura scoffed before slumping his shoulders and continued to berate Soma from the side. Suddenly, Soma stopped mid-swing, perhaps taken aback by Nagakura's biting command. His shoulders bounced up and down as he tried to catch his breath. Soma bowed curtly and sauntered towards the well without another word. Unbeknownst to everyone else, Soma had recently taken on the burden of becoming a fury. In spite of his newly developed aversion to sunlight, he carried on his normal page duties, bouncing all around Edo without complaint or refusal. In addition, he dedicated his remaining free time to honing his swordsmanship, an ad admirable feat. Even if he weren't a fury... <sighs> Even if he weren't a fury... Anyone else will likely have collapsed from fatigue doing half of his work. Ah, uh, I shall. In truth, I had no real interest in doing so because I partially understood what motivated his behavior. However, 
I hadn't wanted to make light of their concerns and dismiss the idea entirely. Soma had met... Soma had needed to balance his responsibilities better, if not for his health, then at least for the sake of appearances. Perhaps Heiske would have a better idea of how to approach the subject with Soma. Oh, Heiske? Could I borrow a minute of your time? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. I darted my eyes around the hallway quickly, making sure no one else was around as I explained myself. I'm serious. He had me swear not to tell any of the other warriors, so please keep it discreet. I had the same thought. If he were to enter the Fury Corps, he worries that the Shinsengumi wouldn't allow him to carry on his current duties, which is an understandable fear. Um, so I wanted to ask you, is there anything we could do to help him mitigate some of his painful side effects during the day? Really? Heske reached his, ha his hand into his pocket, digging for a second before pulling out a handful of pouches wrapped in a thin, wrinkled la layer of parchment. If he was tired or was tired, あくまでも気休めにすぎねえから過信するなとは言われたけどな。I see. Thank you. お前にもいくつか分けてやるよ。そうま、少しでも楽になるといいな。Of course. Thank you again, Hesuke. 